All right, man. We've seen the Knicks let the smack up down on the Pistons Rudy Pool. And the question is, is it time to hang up the core, hang up and blow up the young core of the Detroit Pistons? Now, you got a lot of people continuing to say, well, you know, they get a short Thompson back. He ain't going to save them. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, it's still premature. I, I don't think I like what we're seeing from uh, uh, Jalen uh, Dern. And I think that's the biggest impact. I quite won't say they need to blow it up. It's so premature. And, uh, you know, JB Biggerstaff ain't really been able to put his his stamp on this team yet. But I've seen some things that that are that that, that is encouraging from the Detroit Pistons under him. I mean, look at the 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 camaraderie between you know Cade and Jay Nivey. And I mean, I feel like they should have won every game but the Nick game. I almost went to that game, glad I didn't. They should have went, you know, other than they, they was in every game. Should have beat Indiana. Should have came back and beat Boston. Um, Miami was a game they should have won. Philly, obviously they won, you know, and they played Brooklyn on, on Sunday in Brooklyn. And they played the Lakers on Monday, which they shot the prices up for that game. I'm like, oh, I doubt it, though. So, and once you start to look at it, it's just to the point where Jalen Dern, I think, is the biggest issue here going for this team. Um, I know people saying, well, to buy, I think, I don't know. So I think people, I, I see somebody saying that they need to move Tim Hardaway Jr. Um, from small forward and put in Ron Hollins. But the problem is shooting. <laughs> I mean, that's common sense. Shooting is, they need him in there for shooting, whether it's rolling Malik Beasley back in there or whatever. But once I kind of look at this roster, I like it. But I think where they they severely lacking that, and I seen the stat on on social media that Duran is giving up a bunch of points to opposing centers and rebounds, or Detroit's you know um, you know Detroit's you know us uh, you know big fellas, and um, oh here we go right here. Um, let me put it on Instagram first, and then I'll show it. We can show that, but. I think the middle is the problem. I think the middle, I think the middle is the problem for the Pistons. I literally think the middle, the middle is the problem. They not they're not stopping nobody in the middle. And I think they try really, really hard defensively in the middle. But right now, uh Jalen Dern is just not in Isaiah Stewart. No matter y'all want to say, well, they better with Isaiah Stewart at the middle, plus my I don't care. They actually need a real they actually need a real center in the middle. And you starting to see some of these numbers. And I'm gonna put the statistics up in a minute. You seeing some of these numbers. I mean, you know, currently times eleven points, twenty-one points in twenty-seven minutes. And then you go down here, and Jalen Dern had five points and seven rebounds in eighteen minutes. You know what I'm saying? And probably gave up a bunch of points. Isaiah Stewart, um, Two points, two blocks, two assists, two rebounds in 16 minutes. They getting killed. They getting killed. They getting killed by not having no defense in the middle. That's what's hurting them. You know, that's what's hurting them. And then also, I'll I keep saying this. I think K cutting him, even in this offense, he's a little bit more. Uh, I'll y'all can't see it, but he's a little bit more. Uh, they moving the ball a lot more, but he dominating the ball too much. You know, and, you know, he, 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 they, they don't, they just, they don't see it. They don't see, they don't see it. They're not going to win with him just scoring and, you know, having the ball and saying, if he going to be a scorer, take him off the ball a little bit more and let him go attack. Then that's a second problem. He dominating the ball too much. Yeah. He dominating the ball too much. That's a second problem. But I don't really think that's the biggest problem as, as what they doing in the middle. That's that's not their big problem. What they lacking in the middle is a problem. Yeah, what they lacking in the middle is a huge problem. You know, and that's and that's the difference. I got I pointed out when they came back versus Boston. When they came back versus Boston, um, 
when they came back versus Boston, uh, you know, when they came back versus Boston, bro, the number one thing was Jalen Dern started playing like a man in the in the middle. He started playing like a man in the middle. He started balling. They start balling. He start rebounding. They start give, giving him a few touches. He started blocking shots. He started ruling the paint and doing his thing. But I think right now, you know, everybody said if they got shooting, they'd be better and this, that, and the third. Okay, that ain't really translated to that. The two things, the issue with the two things that's the issue with this team right now, they have no presence in the middle. When you talk about no presence, they don't have a lot of shooting in the middle. And I'm, that's not a concern for me. But they don't have a lot of shot blocking and dominant rebound. Nobody's locking down the paint. If they lock down the paint, I think they I think they only lost two games. They probably won't even lost both of them. And also, Kay Cunningham just taking the most shots. I mean, look at the starting lineup. Every Nobody has double-digit shot attempts but Kay Cunningham on the team. Nobody. He took 19 shots. The next closest player to him was 10. Was 10 shots was the next closest player to him. So, like I said before, I just think it's too much. With him dominating the ball the way they do, they won't win. And with them not having defense in the middle, you know, with him, with them not being able to defend in the middle, the middle, they're not going to win. They're not going to win. They're not going to win. They are not going to win. With them not being able to defend in the middle and to take the ball out of K, can, that don't mean he can't score or shoot. It's just making it easy for him. It's just making it easy for him. It's making it easier for him. So, but, you know, uh, but I'm trying to post this thing up. I don't think let me post. Hold on. So I can see that. But that's their two biggest issues right now. That's their two biggest issues. The inability, the, the biggest one is the inability to defend the paint. They do that, the team turn around. You know, but also K just being too ball dominant. Still. So. But uh, here you go, right here. This is what I've seen going around social media. I don't know how true it is, but they say Jalen Duran averaged through three games, through six games, eight points, 8.8 rebounds, 2.7 assists, 0.2 steals, 1.2 blocks, 87% field goal average, and obviously 50% from three. Opposing starting centers against the Pistons through six games, seven centers including Mobley, 16 points, nine rebounds, Two assists, one and a half blocks, shooting 53.3% from the field, shooting 48.1% from three, on an average of four and a half three point attempts, and 73% from the free throw line. So that's pretty much telling you he's a fucking liability. You know, he's a liability. He's a liability. So he got to get better. I think it started with him. I said he was the most important, you know, Detroit Piston. I said it. He was the most important De- Detroit Piston. Yep, I said it. He was the most important Detroit Piston because his physical ability, and they need him to lock that paint down. You see what happened to the Pistons when, uh, you see what happened to the Pistons when Ben Wallace left. They wasn't the same. So, yep. But, uh, but yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313 PayPal link conscription hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash at Venmo, PayPal. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Appreciate the love support. Um, 
But hey, um, let me know what y'all think about my assessment piece.